where does television today stand and more importantly where do you see it uh, going in a in the next 2 to 3 years as far as its relevance and impact on the consumer is concerned look i am a believer in television and i think it's not going anywhere in a hurry as long as people watch tv and i think that's going to go for a long time this is a huge advertising opportunity there are a couple of things that work for tv i mean the fact the first thing is when advertisers use tv they really are buying a spot on a particular program and they're accruing certain audiences that come from that in direct contrast is digital where you're going after an audience reasonably agnostic of the the programming in which he's there now that i think is a very fundamental point now there are some advertisers who don't care where their spot is coming so long it's a safe environment so to speak but there are a lot of advertisers who actually feel that if i want to be say on an arch the kind of an environment i need to be on an arch the kind of environment now i feel that tv will as long as that narrative keeps on coming in and the environment in which i'm playing has a role to play i think you there will always be a case and i think there is also chance chance basically good chance of tv to maybe command a premium because of that and will that premium continue for the near future vikram well is there right now uh, i mean right now i i think for the foreseeable future it will oh. now um and that's also because in digital i don't think we've been able to use data we used data in a very blunt manner so far we have not really used it in a very sharp manner so i mean at least if i have to look at the the advertising piece i i do demographic targeting right i do age gender and so socio economic class and that's how i make a media plan and put it on aaj tak now similarly if i have to do it on uh, uh, digital large part of the the branding part that i'm doing is still following these same cues so i'm not i haven't give it despite the plethora of data available on digital i'm still actually dumbing it down to the same levels that tv is using arguably in a weaker manner so it's i don't think we've used there are some aspects of performance which have used data very well but the branding piece that we are talking which is really the comp- direct competitive tv so to speak i don't think that has been used to lethal effect some advertisers and obviously we can't take names when i have sort of had conversation um, there is some doubt about the uh, sort of uh, fairness or reality of some digital numbers that get thrown up because uh, advertisers also feel that they really don't know how each or engagement or clicks have been achieved is that a serious concern or uh, shouldn't count no, in the larger picture look at the top i would definitely welcome and i think we need an industry third party measurement of digital in tv obviously we have it in print also we have it digital is the one where still media owners on the basis of their logs and bills we are paying their their invoices now we do have certain mechanisms by which we can do our own third party checks to make sure that there isn't target audience is no bot traffic all that kind of stuff uh, whether it was actually viewable so some basic hygiene checks that should go on to digital it's not that we can't do them today we can do them today but we are still having to then go to uh, the media owners the digital media owners and then have a conversation with them about what is chargeable and what is not the default option still remains that their logs are inviolate and then i have i have a i have a principal problem with that i think they should be industry currencies If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe